Good evening and welcome to Bay Lake Tower, which is the DVC hotel connected to Disney's Contemporary. We're here for the Wicked Wind Down, which we'll explain now. Wicked Wind Down is an event that happens at the Villain's Lair in Bay Lake Tower. For $55 per head, you get an appetizer, a slice of cake, and a cocktail, both alcoholic or non-alcoholic. The important thing is that you get to watch the fireworks in Magic Kingdom at the end of it. Yeah, you don't need to have a reservation, which is essentially what the Wicked Wind Down gives you. It gives you a reservation and guaranteed spots in the lounge. You can just turn up on the night and if there are space, they'll let you in. And if you're early, you can walk over to the Contemporary and enjoy the views from the bridge on the way there. Which is what we did. Oh, wow. In this video we're going to take you step by step through our evening at the Wicked Wind Down and let you know at the end what our thoughts are and if we think it's worth it. Yeah, we should also add that this is a DVC only event, a Disney Vacation Club members exclusive. And as relatively new DVC members, we're kind of into all the extra bits and pieces at the moment, which is why we paid $55 per person. Yeah, it's not cheap and being a DVC member isn't cheap either. So all in all, it better be pretty spectacular. We'll let you know at the end of the video. You get to Villain's Lair by going through the lobby of Bay Lake Tower, taking a left and up to the elevators, which take you up to the 16th floor. All right, 16th floor. When we arrived, we were greeted by a water bottle. Yes, it is Villain's Lair after all. Clearly the person on the desk had been turned into a water bottle. We actually arrived 30 minutes before our reservation, but they said it wasn't a problem and they took us to our table. The front of the menu gives you a story behind how the villain's lair happened. It's quite clever, really. They basically said that when everything shut down due to the pandemic, the villains moved in. And then when everything reopened, they left. They left a few things behind. And it was just a few things they left behind. The theming in here was rather sparse, but outside. So our reservation was initially for 10 to 9. And the fireworks are at 9.20, right over here, right behind me. We're actually going to watch them from over here. And we've come an hour early so we can enjoy our food, enjoy our drinks, and enjoy the atmosphere. We chose the non-alcoholic cocktails, one of which is called the Queen's Garden, and the other is called the Lion's Uncle. Nice. Yeah, go ahead, I'll try this one. That's sweeter. That's sweeter than my one. So they're just opening the curtains now for the sunset. So cool. Look at that. Yeah, this is amazing. What a sunset. Wow, that's even cooler. Wow. So nice. Yeah, outside was really spectacular, but inside, as I said before, there wasn't a lot of theming, at least not as much as we thought there would be. I think this is, oh, it's not Jafar's. Is it Rafiki's? Rafiki's not a bad guy. If you know who that belongs to, please let us know in the comments below. Yeah, well, there's no mistaking who these apples belong to or the magic lamp. And there were some other things around here, like this book. This is, they have these books over there. It's um, about villains' layers, like we're villains in films. Hey, 
That's too far as Kane. Right there. I mean, it's, it's fine. It was huh. the So, apart from this slideshow of villains and the theming which I've already shown you, that's the only theming here. I mean, it's still lovely, but it's just the top of the world lounge, which is lovely in itself. I have to say though that these flatbreads we had were delicious. They were really good and we had one each. It was enough for a meal. It really was. And the service was impeccable. Some of the best service we've ever had on Disney property. And the tip was included in, or gratuity was included in the price. See, if you look, there's like that hole oh, in Tron. Yeah. So you come in. I don't know what the deal is with this side, but this is not the kickback. The kickback is on the other side. These spinny chairs are cool. That's cool, I'm not even dizzy. And also, the music for the fireworks is going to get pumped through these speakers at the same time as it is in the Magic Kingdom. So we're going to get the full experience, but we're going to get it from this angle. So we're going to be almost eye level with the fireworks. How cool is that? Oh, and there's the electric light parade. <laughs> I haven't seen that in years. It's so cute. <laughs> it's also visible from inside here. It's the main event. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you. Whoa. Thank you. Yeah, it is super, super rich. Here, Super rich. It's a seven layer cake. And it's absolutely massive. I'm up for the challenge. Yeah, I'm gonna take the chocolate off. Let's give it a, oh my gosh, it is rich. It's like cheesecake consistency. So rich. What's the crunchy bit? In this part. Reese's pretzels. Yeah. Oof. And now a wafer thin chocolate. And I explode. Bit of a debrief on that cake. That was a lot. Given how much we ate or didn't eat at Typhoon Lagoon, it was okay, but man, it was a lot. Be careful if you come to Villain's Lair. Be careful, you've been warned. So it's five past nine. They're gonna let us in in about five, 10 minutes. It's nearly time. Wonderful, thank you. Let's go here. So people are also watching from that part of the contemporary. That's a new one. Oh, California Grill.
to begin. Is $55 worth it though? I mean, when you consider that we didn't buy park tickets at all, we were able to see the fireworks, not from ground level, not from way far away at the Polynesian on the beach or anything like that. This was right up close with the music right on top of us. And we got tons of cake and we got pizza and we got drinks. I think the whole experience did feel quite elevated. It's not a huge lounge, so it's not really, really crowded. And as I said before, the service was fantastic. So it kind of made the experience. It's pricey for what you get. I mean, if you drink alcohol, it's probably better value anyway. But the food was good. The choices are good. And the atmosphere is, is, is okay. It's not really that atmospheric. I feel like what it really needs is a character, like a villain yeah. to come in. Yeah, it needs more theming. And if that takes one character, ideally a face character, because it's a lot of adults up there. You could bring children, you could bring small children. And I'm sure they'd have a very good time as long as they're not afraid of heights. But it's probably a bit boring for younger children, to be honest. It does feel like an older child and adult activity, which is absolutely fine. On a Friday, they do an en enchantment party, which is free drinks and desserts. But if there was any kind of face character or even a non-face character, I remember when they opened this, I saw videos of people playing roles. Yeah, it looked really good. Actors, and that was much, much better. I tell you, he would be brilliant up there. Lady Tremaine and the Ugly Sisters. Yes. That they really did. work. And that place would sell out night after night if they did that. So or, Disney, if you're listening, which you probably aren't. No. Book the Ugly Sisters. Or Cruella and yes. two dog catchers. Yeah, anything like that would make such a difference. I mean, to be honest, they'd probably charge more, but it might even be worth it. Yeah. It is a nice little venue. It lacks theming. The food is good. The service is wonderful. And the fireworks are great. But if you've got small children, I'd give it a miss. And for a family of four, $210 before tax. Sorry, $220. $220, my math's bad. Might be a bit pricey. But wow, look at the fireworks. And we had a good time. And we both cried a little bit. Ever after. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, so worth it.